All right, guys, today we are going to create a little LED Knight Rider scanning effect using a four loop. And if you're unfamiliar with that, I'm going to teach you all about it here. But first, we want to uh, set up our array of LEDs. I'm using eight LEDs. Okay. And eight 220 ohm resistors. The resistors go from the negative side, that's the short pin of the LED. Okay. And they go to a common ground rail. The common ground rail is then plugged into the ground port on the Arduino. Our positive, the long leg of the LED, are plugged into digital pins 2 through 9. So we'll get that set up and then we're going to go over to the computer and I'll show you how the programming works pretty simple and then once we've got a hold on that I'm going to show you something even cooler all right let's go all right we are going to start out by learning about the for loop and the for loop is basically nothing but a counter it can count up it can count down so to create your for loop you're going to say for and then in parentheses the conditions of the loop so the first thing is we're going to declare a variable, an integer I'm calling x, and we're going to set its initial value to 1. Then we're going to tell the loop how many times to loop. In this case, as long as x is less than or equal to 20, it will continue. That means when it reaches 21, it will exit the loop. And then how should it count? it should increment x by 1. That's what the plus plus means. Then we have our curly bracket to tell it what to do during the loop. And we're just telling it to wait 200 milliseconds and print the value of x to the serial monitor. So you can create a little sketch like this. In your setup, just make sure you put your serial dot begin 9600 and then semicolon. Ship this out to your Arduino, open the serial monitor, and this is what you're going to get. A counter that counts to 20. And it resets. And it does this forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Alright, so now that you understand the for loop, Let's create our Knight Rider scanner. This is the code for the Knight Rider scanner. So we're going to start out by declaring an integer, integer variable called count. And that's going to count our LED pins. And then a variable called wait. And that's going to be our delay timer. So that you can adjust the delay one time and everything will be happy. Now down here in setup, we need to set all of our pin modes to output. Since we put LEDs on pins 2 through 9, we set them all for output. Next, here is our code. We create a for loop with the variable count. So we say for count, start at 2. As long as count is less than or equal to 9, increase it by 1. Then digital write, count the number of the pin, high, turn on the LED. Wait the specified amount of time, turn it off. So that's going to go all the way up until it gets to 9. Then, we're going to go back down. So we create a second for loop. This starts at 8 and counts down to 3 
and subtracts one every time. Now the reason we started at 8 and 3 and not 9 and 2 is so we don't blink the end LEDs twice. So, ship that out to your Arduino and let's take a look at the result. Compiling and sending. So there is our little Knight Rider scanner. Pretty cool, huh? All right, but we're not done. All right, here's the cool trick that I promised you. We are going to add a potentiometer to vary our delay timing. So I'm going to plug it in over here. And we are going to run one pin to ground. The other outside pin to plus five volts. And the center pin, which is called the wiper, to analog zero. Now, let's just add a little bit of code to it and we'll be ready to go with a variable delay. All right, all you gotta do is add two lines of code to each of your loops. Integer pot equals analog read A0. Weight equals map pot 0, comma, 0, 1, 0, 2, 3 comma zero comma two five five make sure you add that to both of your loops and come over here there's our scanner let me turn out the light so you can see it better using the potentiometer potentiometer I can speed it up and slow it down turn the light back on so you can see what I'm doing here a little better there's the potentiometer I'm turning it so there you have learned how to do a four next loop and add an electromechanical delay all with a few lines of code if you like that how about giving me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet the heck are you waiting for